you definitely need an adjustment. And they can and what? They can sex rest. What? You know what conceive means? Conceive? Yeah. Conceive, okay. When you say conceive threat, you're conceiving what the threat is at the moment. Uh, sex threat, sex threat. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Anyway. You conceiving something right now? Oh! Oh, oh man. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Yeah, that's right. You can do whatever you put your mind to. Okay. Whatever you put your heart to, you can do it. You can always learn something from somebody. Hey, hey, my man. Hey, hey. I'll tell you what, uh, would you like to be adjusted today? Yeah, sure. Bring you some much needed relief? Yeah. Sure, being out in these streets has got to be stressful. Yeah, yeah. You know, this can't be good for your body hanging out on the side of, sidewalk. Yeah, so how do you, how do you do that? How do you do that? Yeah. Stand up or? Let me show you, yeah, yeah. Come with me. Well, what's the difference between podiatry and chiropractic? What's the difference between what? Podiatry and chiro chiropractic. Well, podiatry is for the feet. Oh, that's what it's called, podiatry? Yeah, podiatry is for the feet. I'm for the spine. Why? Dentists are for the teeth. Podiatrist for the feet. Chiro for the spine. So this is my table. I routinely pull up on people all the time and try to bless them with what my gifts are. All right. I am What's your name? Christopher Jackson. Do I Christopher have any, Jackson. Do I have any Wendy's on my face? No, no, you're good. All right. Yeah. Christopher Jackson is my name, and uh, I started working for Mr. Paul Castellano at the age of nine. Okay, at the and, age of nine? Uh-huh. Oh, wow. Yep, and I've been working for him ever since, and I heard about this uh, big case that was coming up. It's uh, the coronavirus uh -huh. and the corona ring. And I heard about that from my uh, Israeli Defense Forces and the uh, CIA. Bruh. Dude, all of this at nine years old? Well, nine years old, on, on into on into fourteen years old, on, gotcha. on throughout life. Okay. But yeah, all, most of it at nine years old. Okay. And um, I wanted to become a U.S. Navy SEAL. Okay. So me and the IDF, IDF got clicked. Okay. You know, they teach Navy SEAL. Uh -huh. I was focused on that on throughout my uh, middle school and high school career, and I said to myself, "Man, if I ever come across this this uh, coronavirus disease, I wonder what I'm going to do." And I uh, it ended up happening. You know, just like they said, and I said, man, it must have been what they were talking about. This is way before the coronavirus, the mainstream media started talking about it? Well, yeah, they've been talking about this since the 80s. Since the 80s? Since the 80s, yeah. How and, long have uh, you been out here in the street? I've been out here for about five, ten years. Ten years? How'd you get out here? About nine years. I um, ended up having to quit my job, become full-fledged operative or uh, liaison. Okay. Some, someone connect things up with... Gotcha. So you're kind of like undercover. I would say quite say undercover. You, uh -huh. you, you say commun community relations. Community relations. Yeah, I yeah, like it. Yeah. I like it. You ever heard of the unicorn? Unicorn? Um, I have in certain situations or settings. Uh, how do you mean it? Well, for the CIA, uh -huh. the unicorn is the return of Jesus Christ. Okay. God, uh, the energy levels of Satan, all these things put together. Okay. Yep. And I have had confrontations with uh, spiritual levels of of the Vihim. Okay. And they they. They produce certain messages in the, in the, in the atmosphere, and these yeah. I would say that you gotta be shitting me. This and what, what it's telling me. But yeah. Sort of like now we're talking, and I just saw the caduceus between this, the tree and the bush there. But yeah. that's just the way things happen when you're honest, honest yeah. with the universe. What'd you just see? The caduceus. What are those? Uh, the caduceus is a paramedic star. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I see it. Gotcha. Yeah. Drugs and firearms. What's going on with drugs and firearms? Well, what are you seeing out here in the street? If you know anything about the history of uh, World War, I don't. All right. Well, in um, Africa, was the uh, it was a, a strong point uh -huh. in the idealization of uh, those coming out of Slocum, the USSR, the Czech Republic. Okay. Those who formed the Axis and closed the Axis and made it the Eastern Alliance. Okay. And these things they did for the protection and building up of uh, dermals. Okay. Dermals for protection within the secret agency. And there are a lot of weapons caches that were buried and uh, trains and old, old locomotives and things uh, in Ukraine. Uh -huh. Things happened in a diaspora fashion. In the west coast of America, they were starting to receive weapons, AK-47, old uh, Kalashnikovs, Soviet-made weapons uh, out from the, uh, the war in, uh, in Turkey. Mm -hmm. The, the um, French Indian War led on to that before they started to make these Soviet firearms and so on and so forth. Okay. You have to be of a certain clerical or liturgical level. Mm -hmm. They use this uh, cigarette called Pure of a Little Affinity, and they use it to test how liturgical or clerical, clergy, clergy you are. Okay. Or what is it called? Cler Pure of a Little Affinity. P what? PVP. PVP? Yeah. Ew. I've never even heard of PVP. Have yeah. you heard of PVP? 
Okay. Yep. And um, they take sounds like a good Scrabble word, though. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it sounds like you win on Scrabble. You would. You would. <laughs> you smoke the cigarette, and you can take threats, or they smoke the cigarette with you, and they can take threats. And they can and what? They can sick threats. They can what? Can sick threats. What's that? Um, you know what conceive means? Conceive? Yeah. Conceive, okay. When you say can sick threats, you're conceiving what the threat is at the moment. So if I were to say can sick threats, that's right now. Uh-huh. What I see is a, a palm tree and a, a tree here. Right Between you and I, there are certain things that I probably should or shouldn't say. I've spoken to the French president before. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're doing some things with Maduro and Venezuela, mm-hmm. and oh. I'm starting to work with Trinidad as well. Okay. Because uh, President Trump, mm-hmm. President Donald Trump was, mm-hmm. he was put to be my uh, trainer. Okay. Or I was to be his protege. Okay. And I like Trump, mm-hmm. and I don't want him taken out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I think they know that, and I think that's mm-hmm. why we went through the whole thing with the, along with the unicorn and what I was telling you about having right. Jesus see this. Yeah, bringing it all together for yeah, me. Yeah, it's the last president. Uh-huh. Yeah, being being the return of Christ and God and all these things. Yeah. That would also be the last president. Yeah. It's been a big deal for the CIA. It's been a big, big deal for the State Department. Yeah. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. Anyway. You conceiving something right now? Uh, it seems like you're pretty locked up, like you need an adjustment. With the State, yeah, I am. Yeah. Uh, with the State Department. Yeah. It's, uh, well, I bless you. There's a lot of money. I got about $350 million uh-huh. waiting for me now. Uh-huh. And that's because of both my missions completed, uh-huh. my level of secrecy, uh-huh. and being uh, with Mr. Paul Castellano, they're putting my security level with his. Mm-hmm. I have a Camp David security level. Mm-hmm. Where which, uh, Camp David along. security level? Yeah. Shit. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Okay. And um, all these things conglomerate. And in order For, to carry that much money and that much mm-hmm. influence, uh-huh. that's going to take some character yeah. building. So yeah. that's why I'm out here asking for money in these things. Yeah. <laughs> oh, to build character. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, look, he just brought that full circle. Yeah. So you're out here building character as yeah. community lays on. I tell you the truth, uh, in my past, yeah. telling the truth, telling the truth and coming to uh, the, the honesty that I'm a human being, mm-hmm. I can make mistakes. Mm-hmm. And I think that I know it all because I'm a human being. Mm-hmm. I have to question myself and I have to set myself and I have to disappoint myself sometimes mm-hmm. and in disappointing myself I found you know I've done the best that I can but best that I can and I said something to a brother uh-huh. of mine one time okay and another brother of mine one time uh-huh. and talking back to them I mean it makes me almost hate myself mm-hmm. almost because I, w- I would have been perfect yeah if I would have kept my mouth shut yeah and that one heated argument yeah I would have been perfect yeah I wouldn't have a uh, certain worry yeah. And a lot of things that build on me for a Yeah. Do you think that was a pivot for like a chain reaction in your life that happened? Oh, oh, oh yeah. Yeah? When yeah. you like reflect back and just think? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, because being a role model of a big brother, you know, I, having a little brother that doesn't talk back to you and he's as good as he is. Yeah. You know, you have something to do with that. You got to yeah. have something to do with that. Accountability, responsibility. Right. right. Yeah. It reflects. Now that's real stuff. Mm-hmm. And the moment I spoke, mm-hmm. I felt it in my heart. Mm-hmm. And he didn't quite, my brother didn't quite share it with me, but I said, Mm-hmm. Said to myself, well, he's cool, you know, he's, mm-hmm. he's pretty, you know. Yeah, he's strong, he's he can handle yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh. What's well, one mistake that you made that someone watching, maybe even myself, when I hear you and I get back in my car, I'm like, damn, I gotta learn to make sure I don't make that same mistake he did, uh, you know? Make sure you don't think that love doesn't exist. Make sure you think. Don't, that think, the, don't think that love, love doesn't, doesn't exist. Love doesn't exist? Can you explain what you mean by that? Well, um. Because that sounds deep. That's uh It feels like there's, there's some experience there. Well, in, in uh, energy itself, there's uh, primal energy, mm-hmm. and that's one energy. One energy. We say primal, primal energy, uh-huh. or you can say primal energies, because uh-huh. uh, once we get to the positive and negative, which is primal energy, okay, as one. So okay. Weapon. You definitely need an adjustment. Want to remove some of that interference? Don't forget that love exists. Right. Did you at one point? Forget that love exists? I didn't, but I had a lot of uh, confrontation. I didn't know what to say sometimes. Uh-huh. Working with this coronavirus thing, Yeah. Uh, there are electrodes and uh-huh. electrons, yeah. and the gamma goes around so many times that yeah. you have to go backwards, behind energy, yeah. 
and figure out where this one came from in order to make this one and what, what food feeds this one. All right, it's hot out here. Let's get to work. All right. Let me bless you, my man. Right. You're going to go face up, okay? So you'll All lay right on your back. You can put your book down on the ground. Perfect. And just oh, get that God. other leg up there. Uh, Are you in? It. Does that hurt just bringing your body on the table? Talk uh, to me, Chris. Talk uh, to me. It doesn't hurt. What's, what's that face for? All right. Huh? All right. <laughs> All right, man. Hands on your stomach for me. <laughs> Both hands on your stomach for me. Yeah. Like Perfect, bro. All right, I'm going to get to work, all right? My hands are going to come onto your neck. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. All right, cool. I'm going to bring this up for you just a little bit so you're a little more comfortable. You okay like that? Yeah. All right, I'm going to get to work. All We're right. going to start with that. Oh. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Been a community liaison for over 10 years out here on the streets. Imagine the stress that's running through your body. i got to take that off. This is all energy right here, like you were saying. It was all energy. Relax that head. Oh. There you go. Good wow. man. Yeah. I was watching the way you were walking when you were walking over to the table. Uh -huh. And I know you said, am I a podiatrist? And what's the difference between a podiatrist and a chiropractor? Um, it makes me think uh, indirectly, subconsciously, I mean, it makes me think maybe you want me to adjust your feet. Can I adjust your feet for you? Uh, I suppose. Yeah, okay. Hang in right there. There's something going on with the oscillation of the... Uh the oscillation of this foot? Yeah. All right. Well, and let me see if I can get movement in and change that oscillation. All right. Let me set it. Yeah. Set right. I forgot there's a, there's a point here in the arterial. There's that, a point uh, here in the arterial? Yeah. There's okay. a radiological. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, all right. Tell me about it. What were you going to say? I've had to set feet. Huh? I've had to set feet for it. Oh, okay. All right. Gotcha. Good. Oh, yes. We got one more coming, okay? All right. There it is. Good. We got good movement in there, huh? Yeah. I'm going to come underneath. Good. Ah. Good. Whew. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Isn't that nice? Yeah, that's nice. That's nice, right? Yeah. yeah. Like a manifest. Yeah. You let it manifest. <laughs> Absolutely, bro. Absolutely. <laughs> we'll do. I'm real thankful that you took me up on this, man. I know right. it was awkward probably me just walking up on the street asking if you wanted an adjustment. Are you uh, a ranger? Huh? You a ranger? Am I a ranger? No, I'm not a ranger. All right. No. All no, right. I just like taking care of people. All right. You know, and I saw you out there as I was pulling us. So I said, you know what? I got I to gotta bless this man right here. Absolutely. So I appreciate you sharing what you shared with us. Speaking to the camera, one last thing. What would you tell someone watching? You can do whatever you put your mind to. Okay. Whatever you put your heart to, you can do it. And there's a... Uh, Never a time when you shouldn't listen to someone when they're uh, giving you guidance or instruction. You can always learn something from somebody.